There are a number of different ways to manage a Cisco switch. One of the most common ways, of course, is to console into the switch to first configure it with an IP address and a password. Now, once I've configured it with an IP and a password, then I would be able to either tell that into the switch or I could use what is known as the Virtual Switch Manager. The Virtual Switch Manager is software that is embedded into the hardware of the switch that allows me to have a web page interface for management capability. Now what we're going to do at this time is just bring up a web page and we're going to connect to the switch and we're going to work a little bit here with the DSM. So it wants my password and my username. And there we see that I am now connected to my switch through a web page. And this is the Virtual Switch Manager. Now let's go ahead and run through some of the features of the VSM. Right now you see I have an image of the front of my switch and it currently shows me which ports are active, which ports are inactive, and I would also be able to see which, pulse, which ports were actually faulty at this time. So if I take one of those ports that is active and I would like to see what is going on on it, I can basically bring up the port management page and allow myself to have access to all the wonderful management features of a switch through a GUI interface. Now one thing of interest is this port 25. Port 25 is the AUI or the interface that is on the back of the switch. Port 26 and 27 are the ports that are used for connecting with fast Ethernet. Those are always going to be over to the right of the switch as you're looking at it. Now let's go up and see some of the other things we have here to work with. Let's go ahead and see what we have with the system. We'll start here. Now, from the system page of the VSM, I can configure the IP address, the subnet mask, all the basic configuration information that I could normally do from just consoling into the switch. I can also clear the password. And there's a number of different places on here that you can clear the password from. For instance, from the home page. You'll notice that I can actually have some basic system configuration capability right from the home page as well. It tells me the name of the switch, which I can change here. The switch IP address, which is static on this particular page. I can tell you the physical location if I type it in. The contact name of the individual who's in charge of the management of this switch. I can also assign and change and reconfirm the password. Now let's go down to the bottom down here and see what we have. Now if I wanted to for instance, in a lab configuration where I have a limited number of switches, I can allow someone to be on this switch through the VSM, and then I could allow someone to telnet into the switch at the same time. So currently I'm connected two different ways, one through the VSM and one through the console of a hyperterminal session. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other neat features here real quickly. Here's the CDP management. Remember that CDP stands for Cisco Discovery Protocol, and this is what allows me to see all devices that are physically connected to me. These are my neighbors. You'll notice that this time I have two devices that are connected to the switch. And if we want to get some information about that, for instance, we want to get some detailed information. Well, I just clicked on the first device, and it tells me that that is named Tampa. There's the IP address. It is a Cisco 2500 series router and I am connected through its serial or its Ethernet zero port and I'm now attached to the switch through its port number six. Let's go back to that CDP page one more time. Now if I would like to browse over to that device, I can bring up another web page and interestingly enough I would be able to show the interface information that is currently on uh, that router. And I could do a show diagnostics log. So I could basically manage multiple devices right from this VSM. I can do a connectivity test. Here we're trying to do a ping. And we also have help resources at the bottom of the page here for allowing me to be able to troubleshoot with some online reference material. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when I try to telnet to another device from the VSM. So 
right now I'm telnetting over into Tampa, asking for a password. And now I'm on the router as well as being on the switch at the same time. Let's go ahead now and look at our statistics. So we can go to the statistics page of the VSM and we can get some information about exactly what is happening as far as what I'm receiving, my forward and my transmit of information or data. And I can also reset the port statistics. And we can also go up inside of the system network management protocol if I was using that. Here I'm up inside the console. This is basically my hyperterminal session and it lets me know that currently I'm connected with a baud rate of 9600 and this is a normal hyperterminal configuration. But what's interesting about this, I also have the option, for instance, if I had a TFTP server, I would be able to down or upload the latest version of the switching software and it would allow me to uh, upgrade this particular iOS on this switch at this time. So as you can see there are a lot of neat things that we can do just from the VSM and just about anything that you could do from the CLI you could also do from this interface.